And what is this? What, what is this? In what world is this good? Welcome to Setup Addicts episode number six. Thanks for tuning in if you're watching live and thanks for watching it later on if you're just seeing this on YouTube. Uh, again, setupaddicts.com slash EP6 is the place to go. If you want to link to every single product featured, you can see all the photos and everything like that. Just click the link down below. And uh, with that said, let's not waste any time hopping into the first one submitted by Caden, who is 15 years old. You set up for gaming, streaming and graphic design. Uh, huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I have to say, first off, I like the tabletop. I like that rustic used wood kind of feel, but I think it sort of falls apart when you look at the bottom. Yeah. Metal legs. It is what it is. Not a big deal. But then I like just, the, I don't know. It just center beams. It looks weird. It definitely looks off. And I think the biggest problem is I can't even enjoy the desk because it's like, just spaghetti monster all over the place. Not a big fan of that. Um, now, as far as like the actual setup itself, if we just, you know, ignore everything else, I think, yeah, simple things, headphone stand, whether it's under the desk, on top of the desk, things like that. Uh, nice Himalayan salt lamp, right guys? No. Okay. Uh, having the mic arm there, I can understand that it's a matter of, wanting the microphone to be right up inside of your mouth, but I have a uh, good, good information for you. I don't, this isn't, it's not a blue Yeti. It sure looks like one, um, but you can actually put it like over here in this section and it, it should be able to pick you up. That's the whole idea of a, a condenser will pick you up. Uh, whereas dynamic microphones, you want them right up against your mouth. Oh yeah. You like that. Uh, but anyways, that's just something I would do because I feel like the mic kind of blocks a lot of, the setup itself. Um, and then as far as like the peripherals and stuff, yeah, I mean, it, there's not much to it. it. It is legitimately one of the most simple setups I've seen. Um, but it kind of tricks you because of the way everything looks surrounding it again, cables. I mean, why even try here? Like what's the point? What, what's the purpose of doing this right here? If everything else is going to look like this, come on. So, uh, huh. not going to lie, Caden, I'm a little, I'm a little pissed off. Okay. You didn't want me to get super pissed off. I just think it's lacking personality. It's lacking a, a theme. It's just lacking the rest of the setup. Again, I don't know where you are. <laughs> I, I mean, this doesn't match. That's not a big deal, but it looks like you're in, I don't know, an unused room or uh, I don't know, a family room or something like that, but definitely something needs to be done here. Make it yours. Cause as of right now, this, this is like, this could be anyone's bro. Anyways, let's uh let's move on to the next setup of the day. Submitted by Lance, who's 52. All right, he used a setup for gaming, light editing, and some Photoshop. And he said he hates Star Wars. He is the biggest Star Trek fan you've ever seen. Um, and of course, I'm kidding. He said he's obviously a big Star Wars fan. Um, so here is the thing: we don't often see setups from people who are 52 or really a bit on the older side. We're used to seeing, Oh, I'm, I'm 12 and I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a YouTuber one day. And this is my, my setup. My mom bought, but you know, it's cool seeing someone who's like, yeah, I, I paid for all of this. You know, it's, it's kind of rare nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool because when he was a kid younger, you know, star Wars was kind of like the big thing back then. You know, I'm sure he saw it like 50 times in the movie theaters and stuff for a nickel. Uh, maybe not that long ago, but uh, it's cool to see that he's still a huge Star Wars fan and that he incorporated that. And this is a, more of a, hey, this is like an actual home office. You know, for us, a lot of us have bedroom setups or whatever the case is, like a basement corner setup. Whereas this is like, you know, like how your parents have like a home office, you know, if they do. This is that, but he's into the sort of... um You know, he's he's into Star Wars and kind of pimping his setup a little bit more, but it is very basic. And I think that's, what's cool because he has, you know, simple peripherals, things like that, but it still has that, that like cool vibe. I, I don't know what I'm getting at here. Basically, uh, when, when you look at it, this is what makes it okay. Because we do see the cables aren't amazing. Kind of, if you could see a little bit over there, 
but they're not terrible. And, uh, you know, it's just the things on the wall that really make it what it is. Also, anybody remember like the whole Chewbacca mom thing? Thank God that is over. Jeez, that was annoying. Um, did anyone ever end up buying this? I w let me know in the comments, the chat, if you're watching. Anyone ever do this? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about this one, though, because this is the setup where my mouse is, as you guys can see. And then this is literally just, I think this is a desk off Amazon. That's like a hundred dollars and it's, you know, nice case mesh of 5C. And then you have very basic. I don't, I don't see headphones. I don't see any other additional accessories or anything like that. So at the end of the day, I think it's, it's a great setup, but it, it is very basic. It is a very basic home office. And I think when you have a printer like this, that's what you should expect. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Let's move on to the next set of the day submitted by Tyler, who's 25. You set it for work, school, VR, and web browsing. Now, before you start judging this setup right here, people who have been watching for a long time might say, hey, this looks uh, pretty familiar. Well, it was on episode 281 of, uh, oh, not 281, 261 to pin my setup, so near the end. Uh, at the time, his setup was in his girlfriend's parents' basement, and he was unable to put anything on the walls or anything like that. But since then, he's actually bought a house with his girlfriend. So just take a look at this. This is when he was kind of like, you know, couldn't put things on the wall, blah, blah, blah. But now he's in his own place, and this is what his setup looks like. So I'll, I'll do a quick little beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. Beep, boop. Uh, very cool. I, I, I love to see this because really it's such an interesting thing. Like someone who had these rules and such, and now they're in their complete own space, can do whatever they want. And he definitely uh, did a great job. And ooh, this is actually pretty cool. Chewy room. Uh, but get it. He's home because now he can actually do what he wants to his room. So taking a look uh, a little bit closer at the actual main portion of the setup. Just ah, the main part under the monitors, like that is so slick. I, I really, really like that. I love the controller there. I love the lightsaber. I love the little figures. Just a nice way to fill up a little bit of empty space. Uh, and that's also the benefit of putting your monitors up, getting rid of that stand. That, that becomes all this open space. And when you actually have no cables shown, it looks a million times cleaner Throw on some leds and that's oh, oh it's real good and then the color coordination here just following through on the mouse pad on the keys all the way through you know this whatever this thing is the controller looks so good i really am a big fan of that and actually the mackies have green it's kind of a little hard to tell here but i'm pretty sure those are green um so really cool i love the stormtroopers on top very subtle though because at the same time doing all of this Look at the desktop. The desktop is wide open. It does not look cluttered, but at the same time, he's filling empty space. So it's kind of a hard thing to do in a lot of setups, but he did a great job with it here. Uh, yeah, people are going to complain like, oh my God, you're looking at the middle of the two bezels. Are you kidding me? But again, he's using it for work and school and VR and web browsing. He's not a hardcore game or anything like that. So definitely works perfectly fine here. This angle too, super nice. I think this is the same lamp that he had before. Really good. I, I just, I really like it. Um, a lot of figures, a lot of like, and that's the other thing too, having a shelf that's very organized and tight and compact like that, oof, looks really good. Uh, and then finally, his cable management is extremely simple from what we can see. And that's all that matters. He did a great job with that. So Tyler, amazing setup, great job. Really do like that. Moving on to the next set of the day, submitted by Warner, who's 12. He's set up for gaming, streaming, video editing, and graphic design. He's actually, believe it or not, not like every other 12-year-old. He's trying to do something different. He's trying to go pro in Fortnite. If you guys want to check him out, his Twitch is LMC Warner. Go help him become pro in Fortnite, whatever the hell that means. Um, I play Fortnite, but like, you know, it's whatever. Uh, so actually, this photo right here is his older setup. Which is crazy because if he's 12 now, what was he just coming out of the fetus when he had this? <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like now. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so this is his current setup. We could see a lot of it has kind of followed through, you know, the desk change, of course, which I don't know. I would argue that that desk right here is actually pretty, pretty nice. 
but you know, if you want to go for Linmon, you do you, but he did, he gained more space. He also gained a little bit of a, is it curving yet? It kind of looks like, a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Um, but we see he still has these acoustic tiles and he just kind of added more. And, uh, again, <laughs> I don't Warner, I, I get what you're doing, but look at this first off fake plants, whatever. Uh, this is so clean. Look at the space between them. Look at it's like symmetrical. Very nice. Blah, blah, blah. I get it. Some sy symmetrical. <laughs> but yeah, now it's like, Jesus Christ, can you fit another one on there if you wanted to? And this is a pixel pal. This isn't a pop vinyl. Jesus. And here's the thing. Symmetrical, right? What the hell is this, Warner? What the hell is this? Do you see this? Whoa, pop vinyls, pop vinyls, pop vinyls. No pop vinyls. What the hell is wrong with you, Warner? Okay. And, and what is this? Huh? God damn it, Warner. Seriously, though, um, that, that kind of irritates me because everything on this desk just seems off. Like, there's no purpose to any of this. Like, look at the where the monitor is. It's like not, oh, shoot, didn't mean that. Not even, like, fully centered. And then you have this one that's like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I, kind of. All the way over to the right on, on your large mouse pad. But at least you have the ninja mouse, right? <laughs> oh, God. Thank God. Um, you know, this part, I think, is completely fine. I think underneath looks very clean. Very, you know, look at that. Wow. Nice job, dude. Everything's great. Uh, and then this part just looks a little messy. Not, not a lot going on. This part just completely confuses me. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know why the mouse pad isn't even shifted over more. Uh, I don't know why this is like three miles to the right instead of centered. I don't, I don't know. I don't even, I, I can't tell if my mind's playing games and this is like tilted to the right. Like, is this level? Cause look at this, this part right here looks level. Right. And then it's like, Ooh. like the Titanic, you know, halfway through the night, it was starting to dip down. That's what that looks like. But I don't know if that's just the camera playing tricks on me. Also, Everything you did was like red, right? You were like red, red. Look, look at me, I'm red. Look, I got a mouth pad. Blip, blip. Then you're like, yeah, I like orange though. I'm be honest, I really do like orange. Something about it. Oh, maybe it's because Matt's wearing it in the episode. Not sure what's going on there. Also, what else I'm gonna say? This stand, the 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 are these edifier speakers or what? I don't know the egg speakers, the mouse pad, sick. Where'd it go? Why is your mouse pad like this now? Where are the speakers? Where, where's the headphone stand? I'm not going to lie, man. I prefer this. Let me know in the comment section down below, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer this old one? I mean, the, this new one or the old one? I prefer the old one. What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ. Anyways. Uh, again, nice cable management. Not bad. Anyways, we're going to move on to the next set of the day. Submitted by Harry's 18. You set up for music, movies, college, and like gaming. He wants to know, I kind of found this funny, right? So first off, before I even read that, this is crazy, right? It, some people would argue that this is overkill. Okay. And I would say, yeah, you know what? Wow. That's kind of a lot. It's like crazy. You know, it's not really best in the world, but yeah, it could be considered old, uh, overkill. <laughs> He said in his email, he's like, I'm not trying to be overkill, but do you think it'd be overkill to make my 1080 uh, P TV and uh, swap it out with a 4K TV? I'm like, uh, no. I, welcome to 2019, maybe? I, uh, I think the last thing you need to be worried about is being overkill. <laughs> you know, I think you've already achieved that to some extent, just having a desk you know, obviously they're three pieces, but having it take up a whole wall, you kind of already got over the whole uh, overkill section. Now, we have five photos here, so let's kind of take a different angle. Other side. Okay, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. What the hell? You see this shit right here? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, then we have this angle, which is underneath, and God Almighty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Ah. yeah, that's something. That's something. And then we have a little bit closer up on the top right side. The hell's the purpose of this? Really? What do you, what do you, <laughs> the hell do you use this for? What, what do you got here? Cocaine? I bet. I bet it's cocaine. Uh, and then 
Ah, ooh, spider man homecoming, so cool. Uh, and then this side just completely underutilized, you know, because it's like, yeah, this looks cool and makes sense, I guess. And then it's like, I don't have anything else, dude. What the hell? I spent all the money on the 1080p TV. What the hell am I supposed to put over here? And it's like, if you actually want to turn the, the PS4 on with like your hand, it's like five miles away from you. So it's like, yeah, let me just figure out how to, oh my God, holy shit. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, really though, looking at it, it's cool. The gray walls, black everything, white tabletop. That's just recipe for sexiness. I just think the way things are put together kind of takes away from what it is. So, <laughs> Mismatching monitors is a pet peeve of a lot of people. For me, I don't necessarily care at the end of the day if it's working for you, that's great. But I think if these were all the same triple monitors, no monitor stands floating, ooh baby, that would be really nice. Then you get a nice 4K TV, I actually have it touch the top of the monitors. Things would look a bajillion times better. Um, then you can clean up all of this. This is a complete utter mess. What drives me nuts is like, I guess this is, this is sort of like a center where you have these are either like hard drives or whatever. Why don't you have a cool little station in the corner? Cause you have all this space. Something like that would definitely look neater and just make more sense. There's no mouse pad. The keyboard looks like it was from, you know, I actually think he said it was from a, like a pre-built PC. So it's like not really anything nice. And then he has this like cheap looking mouse, put it on a mouse pad, you know, did he say he was gaming light gaming? Okay. So I can't really get too mad, but that just kind of drives me a little nuts. Um, and then I think the right side just looks a little messy. Uh, I don't know the cables from the, the speakers and do they really sound that good. Maybe they do. I, I don't know. Um, and then I like how you have something here, but then I feel like the rest of the, the space is just kind of underutilized. It's like, yeah, symmetrical on both sides, but do some here, you know, fill up this space a little bit. And what is this? What, what is this? I think he's here in the chat. Harry, wh what is this? What, what, in what world is this good? And what, why, why do you have to? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And I don't know why he has two chairs. At least they match. Something matches. Jesus. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Harry, I look forward to what you do next. He said, I'm sorry in chat. You, you better be. Okay. You better be. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of potential here. Seriously, so much potential. I think people would love to have a space like this where they can fit a huge desk and you have all this potential and you're just underutilizing it. So he said he's going to sort it out in the summer holidays. I honestly would love to see how it turns out. I think, I think you make it look really nice. But with that said, let's move on to the final step of the day submitted by Justin, who's 21. You said it for gaming school and I'm going to say this wrong. Pa Pastoral Ministries. What the fuck is that? Uh, <clears throat> anyways, hey, Easter's tomorrow. Happy Easter, everybody. Actually, if you're watching this when it's uploaded on YouTube, then happy Easter to you, I guess. Uh, anyways, so take a look at this setup. I, I love it because this is all in his family room. You know, he didn't have much of an option. So he's in his family room, and I think he completely knocked it out of the park given the amount of space he has. And this is the beauty of an ultra wide. Picture if he had to fit two 27 inch, 24 inch monitors, it wouldn't really look as nice. I'll be honest, it really wouldn't. And what's nice about these ROGs is that they actually do have really interesting stands, you know? So I think that that completely changes the way this looks and he doesn't need the monitor to be floating or anything like that because it is kind of like a visual piece. So I think he did an amazing job with that. And like someone just said, where are the cables? Like you can see how everything feeds through this little, you know, grommet right here. He did a great job. Seriously, you can't, I don't care if people are already saying, oh, you way you fanboy. Sure, yeah. I, I mean, you can like a brand, you can do whatever. At the end of the day, brands apart. He did an amazing job here and really knocked it out of the park. Great job. Um, I don't think this is on top of anything. I would personally not leave it on the carpet, but that's up to you. Uh, and then as far as the desktop itself, I know this is like a certain kind of desk if you want like that, that green look. So I think he did a great job like picking out everything and he did a good job with leaving things, uh, you know, with enough space and not putting too much because he does have a decent amount of things right here, but it doesn't look cluttered. 
And the second he crosses that line, it becomes a problem, you know? And actually, this is like the same stuff in the studio. We have, I'm pretty sure this exact setup, we have this with the Man of War and yeah, wow. And then I just like that this is nice and simple and it doesn't become an issue with the family aspect off to the right. It easily could, but it doesn't. It just, you know, kind of flows. So I think it did a good job with that. And uh, hey, not not bad at all. We'll take a little bit of a close. I, I don't know why I put both of these in. I mean, they're basically the same exact thing. Uh, but then under the desk, you can kind of see I've got the netting and that's where everything kind of poops out. And then over here could be a little more tidy, but I think at the end of the day, if it doesn't, if it doesn't look bad right here, eh, you do what you got to do. Now, the final photo is from like, I guess the other angle, you know, and that's kind of what he's working with. So I think this is nice, straight to the point. Very cool. What's crazy is how this is like so colorful and looks warm with this side and very like lived in. And then this is like, kind of sterile <laughs> so i would love to see like walking in a door and you're just like oh this is basic this is basic and then all of a sudden you're like oh my god okay and then you look back at this you're like ah oh, okay you know it's just funny because the color but anyways uh really really nice justin great stuff but with that said guys that is basically it if you want to check out any of the products featured check out the photos a little bit more in depth going over to setupaddicts.com Click on the latest episode, episode number six, and everything's right there for you to check out. We're going to be live every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern unless something happens. And if you want to know if something's happening and I'm not going to be live, then what, why not just follow me here on Twitter? Or how about follow me on Instagram? Or, or how about join the Facebook group where there's like 40-something thousand people posting their setups, getting feedback every day. Uh, join the Discord. We're also there. I chat in there all the time. We're all talking, having a great old time discord.gg slash Matt. And that is it. Submit your setup.com if you want to be on the show. And if not, screw you. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, screw you. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great Easter. Hope you have a great life. If this is the last time you hear from me, not that I'm going to die, but like, you know, maybe you just never watch me again. I wouldn't blame you. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. With that said, I'll see you in the next episode. Para mi gente